An emotional return for a police officer in Greenville turns into a night of recognition. The city council is recognizing Jeremiah Lovelace for his dedication and service after being shot in the line of duty on April 2nd. None of your sides. Davis Supis is joining us right now in the studio. So Davis, how did they recognize Officer Lovelace tonight? That's right, Courtney. The city council meeting starting with this recognition was something that was truly special. Officer Lovelace himself appreciative of the support, but more than ready to get back to work. Honestly, I did my job. I, I didn't bat a nine, I'll do it again, and I have no problem doing it. And this, I didn't need this to tell you the truth. But um, unfortunately, you know, I'm here and they, they're supporting me, which is, like I said before, it's overwhelming just the support I have from this, this community. Words like humble and selfless were used at the Greenville City Council meeting to describe Officer Lovelace. They're protecting people that you don't even know will never know because it's within your heart. And not only does that represent the character of you, but again, that does represent the character of every single individual we have in our Greenville Police Department that put themselves out, out there every single day. A standing ovation for the officer and his family. So those people make it too, and they're a big part of what we do. And if we do anything right, if, if I want us to be known for doing anything right as a department, it's building a stronger relationship with each other and a family within our building that extends to our outside families. It's not just each officer, it's the officer's families as well that are involved, whether it's parents, whether it's children, whether it's spouses. The, uh, they go through this day-to-day -day life as well. And Without them, obviously, I wouldn't still be here because they were super supportive through all of this. Officer Lovelace also said in our interview that he was ready to get back to work within just a week of the incident happening. But he did have to listen to his body and his loved ones tell him that it is okay to rest and recover with the time off. It's good to know the officer's spirit was never less than 100% and we're looking forward to having him back at work. In studio, Davis Supis, 9 on your side. Davis, thank you.